I wanted to do this demo. We were talking about the drag and drop activity you were trying to create. You were using drag the words, and what we want to use is just a simple drag and drop. Drag and drop allows you to create zones, drop zones, and then you create either text or image draggable items that can go into one or even multiple zones. So let's take a look at that really quick. We're in Pressbooks here, uh, ModPress, and we're going to add our H5P activity. And what you're going to look for, as it's trying to create, <coughs> I apologize if I cough a little bit during this, but we're looking for drag and drop. You were doing the um, drag the words. Find drag and drop. The first time you do it, you have to click get and then click use or install. Um, the second time you go in, it says details. You just click details and then click use. But we're trying to get in here. We give it a quick title. I'm just going to call this test. One of the things you can do is add a background image for style and whatnot. For this, we're just going to go right to tasks. So the first thing you want to do within the setting is create your drop zones. So you are doing the Spanish version of greetings and goodbyes. So this one we're going to call greetings. And we want to show the label so they know that they're dragging to the greetings area. This drop zone can only contain one element. So in this, what's nice is we can have it contain multiple draggable elements. So we do not want to check this, but we want it to auto align. And you'll see what that means here in a minute. So let's click done and you'll see it creates this bucket um, as we talked about to be able to drag items to. So I'm going to make this of a certain size. So we have greetings now. What's nice is we can just copy and paste to create that second zone and then double click it. And this is not greetings anymore, but goodbyes. So same settings, we want to show the label, auto align and say done. So now we've got our buckets created. We need to create those draggable items. So uh, when you're creating those, the first one we're going to have be hello. We want this to be able to go to any draggable zone or a drop zone. And then what we're going to do is we go back once we've created all the different draggable items, words that we want, the hellos and goodbyes, then we go into our drop zones and define which ones can be there and which are correct. So we want to have it be able to be dragged to greetings or goodbyes. And we're going to say done. And then it has our hello. So this is our first draggable item. And we're just going to size it up. What's also nice in here is once we have one of these done, I can simply copy and paste. Let's do a couple more, four, um, and then go through and correct these. So this one is going to be uh, goodbye. Done. Let's do this one. This is going to be see ya, which is another, obviously, goodbye. And then uh, I didn't think this out in the beginning. What's up? That's like a hello, I guess. So, um, but you get the idea. So I've created my equivalents of greetings and goodbyes. You would do this in Spanish. Now that I've got all of these created, however many you have, go ahead and click the drop zone. So this is your greeting. So obviously we only want the correct elements to be our hello and our what's up. So that means that these will be marked as correct in the scoring. Same thing for our goodbyes. Here we want goodbye and see ya, and we say done. So now what we've done is we've set up two drop zones, one for greetings, one for goodbyes. We've defined all our hellos and goodbyes as draggable items. Then we went back into each one of the buckets and defined which ones are correct. Um, go ahead and do <coughs> any of the scoring that you would want. By default, it's just going to give one point for each of these draggable items and give points for that. Make sure you do click Create um, when you are in Pressbooks. And when we're done, now we have our draggable items. So if I were to take my um, items here and drag them in here and check, it's going to tell me I got them all wrong. I got 0, 4. Now if I were to do them in the correct area and put them in and check. Now I've got them correct. So now you can see you can do your salutations and farewells, however you want to do that. If you do have any questions, please let me know. I'm always available for answering those or helping to walk through these activities. So, all right. Thanks much.